Hello, my name is Kev Byron Butler and I'm the admissions tutor here at Solent University. I've come to talk to you about the social work course and the process of applying to, to actually join the social work course. So I'm going to concentrate on that process to begin with, but what I want you to remember please is that if you have any queries or questions, I will have my email displayed on this presentation for you to follow up. So, how do you get onto a social work course here at Solent? Well, we are slightly different from other courses in terms of the processes that we have. One of the most important things, if you have an interest in social work, is to complete the personal statement and supplementary application form. That is all on one form now. On that form, it begins with your personal statement and what sort of things might we want to see on that personal statement? Well, social work is about caring and caring for others. And so what we would like to see is if you have been studying courses that are care related, for example. You may also be employed in the care sector at the moment and wanting to progress your career to become a qualified social worker. So what we would like to see is some of your values in this first part of the form. Uh, and if you are sitting there thinking, actually, I haven't done any employment, uh, but I might think about doing some voluntary work to evidence to us that, you, that you're actually interested in a career uh, of caring for others. It is a very rewarding job. It's also very stressful at times but we are here to help you all the way through. Now, so with this initial form that you'll need to complete, I've talked about you writing about some of your values. Uh, I've talked to you about writing about some of your current work experience or volunteering. But key to us here, certainly for me as, your admission, as the admissions tutor, I would want to know what's motivated you to come and study social work. What's triggered that in you? So you might want to think about the responses to that. Typically, what I read in applications over the years is that there's someone in the family who is a social worker, or you may well have had experience as a social worker yourself growing up with the social work department. What I pick up is that people want to make a difference, and that comes shining through in their personal statement. So other things to think about in your personal statement would be to think about what skills you can bring to the course. For example, organisational skills. For example, communication skills. Don't worry if you are a little bit worried about presenting to others as what does happen on the course. We will help you through all of those processes. So we're looking for what skills you can bring to the course where you have evidenced uh, your efforts with other people in terms of making a difference in their lives. It could be caring for a family member. It could be being a voluntary carer or working in uh, the voluntary sector, working in a charity shop, something like that. The, all these sort of things can help you in your application. So after motivation, it, uh, we look to see and uh, the skills, and I've talked a little bit about those skills, uh, and it's really important, I think, for you to sell yourself. Don't underscore, okay? If you are an organised person, then let's, let's have that in the application form and obviously talk about that. The other thing we, we talk about here in, in that first application form as you start to write it and things to put down is that we look, at, we look at two particular concepts in social work. One is discrimination and one is oppression. They are, on, they are actually mentioned on the form and we would like you to provide us with uh, a definition, one, and also for you to explore what that means. Because of the type of people we work with in society, social workers that is, 
they do suffer discrimination and they do suffer oppression. So that's another key, uh, another key value and another key concept for you to tell us about. So put some effort into that and that will certainly help support your application. Finally, the application asks for your own values and ethics. So where are you coming from? How do you feel about society? Yeah, um, typically a social, social workers are what we call, try to be non-judgmental. Uh, typically we would say, the things I'm looking for, looking for in an application is that, you know, you're accepting of diversity and celebrate that diversity in our culture, knowing that some groups actually do get affected uh, and come off worse than others. But that's partly to, uh, you'll learn about that on the course itself and, and in deeper, uh, greater depth, greater depth. Okay, so that really in a nutshell is the first application form that, uh, that you'll complete. I say that because those two key elements, one is your personal statement, talking about you directly about yourself. The second is going through those questions and answering them the, as fully and as best as you can. What critically, the good applicant will also be able to reference some either you've, oh, you've watched a documentary, which is social work related, you've read some recent books that, uh, which could be, uh, which are social work related, and typically, you know, entry level into social work, you might want to uh, read the books uh, on um, uh, um, Neil Thompson's books on society. Uh, you might want to also look up uh, some uh, YouTube videos uh, all related to social work uh, and become familiar with the um, and with looking up something, researching something, including something that you've read, and then actually include that in your application form. For example, a really good student would perhaps look up an article in The Guardian, social work related, um, um, and uh, you know, the one I'm thinking about at the moment is on the, it came out on the 20th of June, and it talks about social work and managing and practicing in the mists of the virus. So looking at something like that and evidencing it in your application and referencing it in your application, that's the real strong student. Those, th those type of um, uh, students who have put in that effort, okay, are the ones that really flag to us, which this student actually is truly motivated and, you know, it, and interested in current social work practice. Okay, so that essentially is the form uh, that uh, we will read, uh, I will read, and that form, I will uh, actually assess that form. Uh, what's just as important are the things like uh, spelling and grammar and structure in your writing as well. And it's not just because I'm saying it, it's because the social work profession is regulated by an organisation called Social Work England, okay? And they ask us uh, to, uh, in terms of their standards, to make sure applicants have a good command of English. Now that's written English and spoken English. Okay, so it's worth double checking, proofreading your application before sending it. Perhaps get a friend or family member to read through it for you, just checking for grammar and spelling uh, before you, you send it in. So once that form is received by our admissions team here at Solent, uh, they will let me know uh, and we will then progress to the next step, which is the written test, which goes back to what I was just saying about Social Work England. So it's all online, You'll, you can do it at home, uh, it will, there will be a test, a 40-minute test. Uh, I'll supply you with an article, a uh, social work-related article, and we will ask you then to answer a number of questions linked to that article. So what might they be? Is your question, is maybe one of your questions. Well, 
if it's an article involving a child, we might want, one of the questions might be, what is the safeguarding issue here? Yeah, identifying you know, the needs of a child. So what is the safeguarding issue? Another question might be, uh, what are the views, what is your, the views of other people in the case study and their contribution? So it is about an article that's usually be, has been published in a newspaper and then for you just to answer four standard questions from that within a time limited time and then uh, that's the essentially the written test. What happens after that? Well, I look at it as with other people and as I say, it's about your level of English, command for English, uh, including in your writing skills. So we're not looking for perfection and that is one aspect of it. The other aspect, just as important, is have you answered the four questions and how well did you answer that? So that's really important as well. So that is the written test. Okay. Um, finally, we come on to the interview. Now, with COVID, we are having to uh, uh, deliver uh, and process our interviews online. So we will uh, speak to you. Um, we arrange a time for a, a, a meeting and it will either be myself or one of the staff members and we will talk to you uh, in an interview situation. Uh, we try to make it more of a conversation. So, you know, we are not here to intimidate people. We want you to be relaxed. We want you to be you in the interview section and tell us, you know, uh, more about you. OK, and in terms of the interview, how long does it last? Well, that conversation is normally about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And again, the most important thing here is it's a values interview. We want to find out a little bit more about you, your values, your ethics and how you view the world. OK, and so there will be plenty of opportunities to ask questions at the beginning of the interview or at the end of the interview, that's fine as well. <clears throat> and what, what happens once the interview is concluded, uh, I will look at, uh, uh, look, look at that in, and review that interview. And the process would be that um, I would need to complete a little report on the interview and of the written test. We pride ourselves in processing applicants quickly and getting a decision to them as quickly as we can, because we really don't want to leave you uh, in the loop. We want you in the loop rather than leave you out there on your own. Finally, I'll go back to what I said at the beginning. Um, social work is a caring profession. Social work it, it is based upon people wanting to make a difference. It's very important for you and for us to find out why you want to do social work. And that's how you're going to respond to the uh, written uh, requirements. Uh, you know, selling your qualities. I mean, you may, you may well be a, a someone who's very quite shy and reserved, but within social work, you need to come forward and tell us about your great organisational skills, tell us about your great uh, communication skills, uh, tell us about how you've helped people or how you are already helping people. And if you're not in any of those categories, perhaps to use that time from, uh, between now and September 2021 to find some voluntary work uh, and therefore be able to evidence uh, your, um, uh, your ability and your, and your skills to help others. So I hope you have found this useful. Uh, yes, it, there is a process to go through. We make it as smoothly and as, uh, as easy a process as we can do. We want you to be able to show yourself in your best light and we want to have the best graduates and the best applicants we can get. <laughs>